Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Today is, oh no, Wednesday. I hope that this does not continue on this morning, but definitely, or this morning, this week, wow. But definitely this morning when I woke up, I was like, it's Friday, right? It's not Friday. It is definitely Wednesday. Anyways, I am awake, obviously. I'm at the theater also, maybe obviously. I'm in the corner of all the chairs. Because <laughs> it does, despite this shadow, it's got decent lighting compared to the rest of the lobby. And I got my breakfast drink and I've got my oversized scrunchie. We are ready to face this day. But getting to this day, oh wow, did I have some crazy dreams. So I had a dream that was like very like Battle Royale or like Hunger Games-y, where you just had to murder a bunch of people. <laughs> and Zendaya was there and Hafu, who's somebody that I watch stream. And um, we kind of aligned together a little bit. And then we realized that it was like the system that was trying to kill us more than anything. And there was like somebody, we were staying in a cabin that we had found and there's somebody else that like, we start to realize was not on our side at all. There's a bunch of wolves at one point. There were like dead bodies under the floorboards. Like it was a lot <laughs> to get through. Didn't die though. Um, didn't wake up before the end, but also didn't die. So I think that is a win. So I mean, today in comparison, can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go, I think, have my breakfast drink and then get my shift started. And then it is a beautiful sunny day, so maybe I'll go for a walk. I tried to meet up with my friend for today and he was like, yeah, let's do it. And then like 10 minutes later, he's like, wait, no, I can't. I already have plans. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so maybe I'll go out for a walk by myself though. I don't know, maybe I'll take it easy. Cause like I woke up, oh yeah, on top of that weird dream, I woke up dripping with sweat, which I was like very confused by. Maybe it was just because my dream was so intense. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go now and oh, the stretching. And I will check in with you as I can. It will likely be when I get home because there's gonna be people here. It's a lot easier on Mondays and Fridays when there's no people here to check in, but it's Wednesday. There's gonna be people here. Alrighty, <laughs> it's one o'clock. I am home now. Uh, today was like, it went from like kind of busy or kind of not busy because I didn't have much to do and then I found a bigger project to do so that took me some time and then there were a lot of people in the theater so there was also a lot of chatting <laughs> which helped fill my shift which is a terrible thing to say I know. Anyways, home now just had lunch which was, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> my mom's boyfriend was like let's get McDonald's and who am I to say no <laughs> and um so now I'm home. It's a beautiful day out. I haven't opened my curtains yet because I think I'm gonna change. Um, and I think I might go for a walk later. I don't wanna go right now because I just ate junk food and so I think I'd feel terrible. But maybe in a bit. Currently though, I think I'm gonna transfer the footage from yesterday and finish editing the vlog. And then I want to dedicate today and tomorrow hopefully to writing, I think, because I don't wanna sew. I don't think I wanna embroider, but I haven't written for a while and I could really do with some writing, I think. Also, I heard back from Birdie Tam Art, which is where I got these super adorable earrings from. If you, if you did not see yesterday's vlog, oh my goodness. Um, she accidentally sent me she duplicated my order and sent it to me twice. Um, and so I reached out to her and I was like, hey, what would you like me to do? Like, I can send this back to you. Like, that's totally fine. And she was like, oh my God, I had a few issues with shipping. And she's like, I would love to have them back, but I just think the shipping would be prohibitive for that. So like, you can keep them because it was my fault and like find a new home for them. So I'm going to give them to someone, I think. And that should be, that should be awesome. <laughs> I'm sure they will be greatly appreciated. I love them and I just wish they weren't posts that stab my ear when I wear my ear, my headphones, because I wear my headphones all the time. So we'll just have to make a conscious effort to wear them regularly anyways, because they're adorable. But that's nice, nice resolution. I wish I could have got them back to her, but it was from here to Sweden, probably would have been like 10 or 15 bucks to send and the earrings are like 15 bucks. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna, start transferring footage, I suppose, and maybe make a list for the day, maybe make my bed and fold my clothes and put them away. Like that's an option. That's a thing I could do. Um, but hopefully being productive, but not like overly exerting myself. Cause I'm a little tired today. It could have been the weird murder dream I had. My face is so red and it's so warm and I am concerned. <laughs> Anyways, it's, um, 
just after 5.30, and uh, I've done absolutely, okay, I'm gonna say I've done absolutely nothing, but I did finish editing the vlog and export it, and then I just, that got worse. I just laid in bed watching a Valkyrie stream for like three and a bit hours, but I'm concerned at how <laughs> flush I am, to be honest, um, and warm, especially after waking up this morning in like dripping with sweat, so we have a thermometer we're going to be monitoring today because I just checked and I'm 30, was it 36.9 degrees? <laughs> and normally I'm like low 36. I think I just checked something. Oh my goodness. Like talk about retention of not an elephant. So it says normal body temperature is between 36 and 36.8. So I'm at 36.9. It could just be because I was laying in bed all day. I don't know. We'll see. So that's a fun thing. But um, you know how yesterday I was like, oh, I'm just not feeling it. Just not having a great day. That's kind of, I wasn't feeling it earlier today. I was going to do stuff like write. And I actually, I pulled out my writing book. I thought I still had to plan some people or places, but I don't. I'm on to planning the acts, which is pretty awesome. But I don't think that's going to happen today. I think, depending how I feel after dinner, I'm going to hoop up my embroidery project here and um, work on that. So right now I'm just going to do the thumbnail for the vlog that is going up tomorrow and then it should be dinner time and then we'll see what happens. I have low expectations which maybe is the best. Oh my god I'm so flush. Okay I'm gonna go for now and uh, we'll see <laughs> where this day takes us. Hopefully um, an upward trajectory but not upwards with temperature. That, that's that's the hope. Okay, it has been quite a while. It's 7.30 now. I ate food. I visited with my cousin outside, socially distanced, with masks on for like probably half an hour. She texted me. I can't remember if I mentioned I don't think I mentioned it. Did I mention it? I don't know. She texted me asking me questions about embroidery and um, like different like interfacing or whatnot. So like, oh, I don't really. So for the bags that I make, I put interfacing on the back so you don't have to worry about the stitches. But if I were to embroider on something like this, I'd need a stabilizer, and that's what she was looking for. And I was like, I think you could probably get it at, like, the fabric store, but I'm not sure. But I'm like, how much do you need? Because I had a little bit left over, and I'm like, you can just have it. And she came over, and I gave her a scrunchie, too, because, you know, why not? I like to spoil people with scrunchies and other such things. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, I'm currently uploading the vlog, which is exciting. Good job, me. This has been an all-day process. I edited the vlog. I took a three hour break, <laughs> I did the thumbnail, I took a two hour break, and now we're uploading it. So that's exciting. But what's actually exciting is I'm up to 256 subscribers, which again, it will probably fluctuate, but that's very exciting. Very exciting, but perhaps even more exciting. <laughs> I got like my first super negative YouTube comment and I've deleted it since and it doesn't bug me, but it's um, boring AF, where's the personality? She's so tiring and boring. <laughs> True. just I think it's so funny <laughs> anyways so sorry that I'm boring AF <laughs> anyways speaking of boring AF that's pretty much what my day is gonna be I'm I'm crying because I made myself laugh too much I'm not crying because I'm sad I'm so sad um <laughs> I think I kind of want to make my bed because that is a trash taster over there I it got like it was bad and then it got worse and then it got even worse like all my all my pillows are like in a massive pile over there I don't even pajamas are gonna it's bad <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make my bed I want to print another batch of scrunchie tags because when I send out the mail I'm gonna send some scrunchies so I need to tag them up just for presentation's sake people aren't buying them I'm just gifting them but it looks pretty <laughs> so I think I'll do that maybe try to pull out a few of the things that I want to send and just kind of get everything sorted and together and then maybe embroider today we'll see it's it's been a slow day it was not the day I expected it to be honestly I was like I'm gonna write and it's gonna be fantastic and instead I just melted into my bed so I'm gonna stop rambling now because I feel like I have but I just need to to, to share those fun things got to see my cousin which was so exciting I haven't seen her for months um got to share that we're up to 256 subscribers and got to share the the hate comment that I got devastated. <laughs>
Anyways, I'm gonna go now try to make some sense over there. Also, I took my temperature again recently and it's dropped like a couple points of degrees and then I'm feeling much less flush and much better. So we're on the up and up. Okay, I'm going now. I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. Just because it's easy. But that don't make it better. Alrighty, I got everything packed up, ready to go to my friends. Well, almost. So these three are good to go besides the fact that I need to address them, which is why they aren't closed so I remember which ones they are. Um, and then these three I want to put a letter in before I send them. And like this one I'll probably have to do to do, do cover up because it's got my address on the other side and same with this one but very exciting I now feel like I kind of had a productive day which is super awesome so I'm gonna find somewhere to put those it's currently 10 after 10 I kind of want to eat something I really wanted a frosty from Wendy's but I'm pretty sure they're closed now so it's a little late for that and I've been helping my cousin with her embroidery project that she's working on because she's trying new stitches that she hasn't used before so hopefully <laughs> I was helpful enough it sounds like she's feeling pretty confident now so yeah that's where we're at I'm gonna move those somewhere I'm so lazy I don't want to fold my clothes and put them away so I just opened up a new bin for my dirty clothes and then there's the scrunchies that I hate right now I would say it's not them it's me but I really think it's them <laughs> anyway I think I'm gonna go start getting clear off my bed get ready for bed and stuff and I will check in with you before I pass out for the night Hopefully. Sometimes when I close my computer, it doesn't actually go to standby and then my keyboard just has a party. <laughs> I was downstairs. I had no idea this rave was going on. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Don't. Okay, get it stopped. All right, <laughs> it is 11.30 now and my mom and I had some late night bread. <laughs> I have like one of those like Dempster's half-baked baguette things and so I was like oh, we should have this because I really wanted chips but somebody ate all the chips it was me <laughs> I've just I don't know like I've been craving chips so badly lately I just go down and get a bag and just ah, terrible but wonderful anyway I'm gonna go to sleep now I'm hoping I sleep better than last night it's not that I would love those crazy dreams that I had but I don't think like waking up in like a pool of sweat was the way to go and so hopefully I don't do that again tonight or I guess in the morning technically and hopefully I have some fun dreams because I love fun dreams but I'm gonna go now and um I will see you back at the theater tomorrow morning <laughs> two more shifts left this week very excited for those to be done with <laughs> good night one of the chairs is gone and it's so sad it's actually just on the stage now because they used it as part as part of the set production last night uh, yesterday. Wow, English is hard. It's fine. Anyways, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. The lighting kind of sucks here, but you know what? Maybe if we turn a little bit, no, it's just as bad. But if I turn it like this, <laughs> I don't have to hold the camera and that is just as good. Last time I tried to set it up with the adjustable exposure, it got mad at me and it went so dark I couldn't even see. So I think I need to spend some time figuring out settings on the camera again because 
This, this, this is it, but this ain't it. It could be more it. <laughs> I had some weird dreams again last night. Um, same streamer who helped me not die in the battle royale situation yesterday was in this dream. It was Hafu, if anybody's wondering. She streams on Twitch. And um, I was like stuck in a hospital. <laughs> And she helped like jailbreak me from the hospital. Like I think a lot of people were, I don't know, it was weird. And then there was definitely an airport at some point. And I did wake up with a little bit of like a sweat on, but it wasn't like dripping sweat like yesterday. So that's good. And I checked my temperature again because now I'm so paranoid and, and we're, we're just continuously going down. So I, I think it was just, I got overheated yesterday. That's my guess. So. Oh my goodness, the lighting is so bad. Slightly better. Okay, so I'm at the theater, obviously. I think I might be the only one here today, <laughs> which is weird because normally all the techs are in on Thursday, but um, they, there's a show tomorrow night, so I think they're switching. And uh, normally there's one office admin in. She comes in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and she's working from home today, so I think I'm the only one here. And honestly, if I'm the only one here, I might be able to just not come in tomorrow, which would be fantastic. Three-day weekend. It'd be amazing, but we'll see. Anyways, for now, I'm going to work. Actually, I'm going to have a breakfast drink first. Then I'm going to work, and then later, when I get off at noon, my friend is going to pick me up, and we're going to go for a walk, which is exciting because it's going to start raining after today. So got to get those walks in, but for now, got to get that breakfast drink in, so I will see you along the way. Okay, so when I got in today, I noticed that there was like some funky background on the stage, like on the projector, and I was like, Oh, they must have been testing out backgrounds because there's like a DJ tonight, I believe. Tomorrow night, at some point, <laughs> must have been checking out backgrounds. But I was like, I probably shouldn't be left on and I don't think the techs are in today, like I mentioned earlier. They aren't, it's, it's just me. I've turned off a bunch of lights too because I'm about to leave. But <laughs> I texted my one tech and I was like, as much as it was fun to just have that like club vibe, <laughs> I'm thinking like you're not in and I don't think this should be on so he texted me and he was like, yeah, no, can you turn it off? Like, call me when you're in the booth. So I went up to the booth and <laughs> I called him. And so he's like, is it this, is it that? I'm like giving him the answers. And he's like, okay, so this is where you need to go and like directed me to where it is. And he's like, and you'll see three, you'll see a white remote control there. So I look and there's a light gray and two white remote controls. And he's like, it's the one that says Samsung on it. I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm like, so out of these three remote controls to turn off the projector with, it's the only one that doesn't say projector on it. <laughs> Straight up, three remote controls. There was the white one. There was the light gray one, and there was another white one. This white one said projector. This gray one said projector. And the one in the middle that I needed to use to turn off the projector did not, which I just found really funny. But it is now probably just about noon, like two minutes to. I'm being a rebel. I'm, I'm just, I'm leaving anyways. <laughs> There's nothing left to do. I'm gonna head out. My friend is here to pick me up. We're gonna go for a walk. And I think I might actually take tomorrow off. I might, I'm so excited to have a weekend. And now I think I might take a three day weekend because honestly, there's nothing for me to do tomorrow. So I think I might just not, but we will figure that out, but it would be probably pretty fantastic. So I'm gonna go now, get on my sweater. I was, cause I think it's kind of cold outside. So I brought a thicker sweater to wear for the walk. So I'm gonna just get myself sore to get a mask on. Cause I always like to wear a mask when I leave just cause it's, it's like become my routine now. And I will maybe see you on the trail or maybe at home, who knows? We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene under a canvas of blue, I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin, that is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love Raise your 
glass to mine And as we drink, we would lock eyes So we could disregard the thought of ever having to part For summer is for fall So, I came home uh, from my walk So, I came home from my walk uh, Had lunch with my mom and came upstairs, wrote a list, and then passed out for three hours. <laughs> it's currently 6.30. Uh, I just also was like just really cold and tired. And so I just, I slept for three hours and still waking up, feeling pretty good. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how I feel as I try to get to sleep in a couple hours. But I decided not to go to work tomorrow. And I told my boss, too, that I'm not going. And I told, I told, like, three of my... Three people total at the theater that I'm not going to work tomorrow. So I can sleep in even if I stay up a little bit too late. Ideally, though, I would not completely destroy my sleep schedule this weekend. But we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to put, like, kind of clothes back on. At least bra. I don't know. And then go have some dinner. Super healthy. Eat lunch. Pass out. Eat dinner. It's fine. Okay, this has just become a trash shoot, that is for sure. Um, my cousin is having some embroidery questions, so I'm waiting for her to call me or be available for me to call her so that I can help her. I mostly use that ring light just for lighting, but it is so nice for if I want to do FaceTime because then I don't have to hold the phone because you know if you're on FaceTime and you're just like all the time, it is so nice to just have that. Plus, with embroidery, because I want to just show her some things, I can just to it with both hands. I Like I said, with both hands, I only have one hand. Anyways, it is 20 to eight now. I just finished dinner and <laughs> I think the goal has to be to do something. And I think the goal has to be to do something over there because it's, it's really bad. Like make my bed and deal with the clothes. I think that will take up 90% of that and like put my backpack away because I came home and I just tossed on the floor and I haven't touched it since. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put something on while I wait for the call and transfer some footage and just try to get my life in order. I don't like, I wrote a list which included like folding clothes and putting them away and I just don't really know if I'm gonna do that. Oh frick, I need to invoice. Ah, okay. <laughs> Glad I put that on the list. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do as much as I can while also doing as little as I can. I'm the worst. Anyways, I'm gonna go get stuff done and just hopefully, hopefully it's good. I already know better. 24K got nothing on me. Make you want it forever. Try to play a game, but you don't play for keeps. Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah. Kinda love you wanna build your dreams on, yeah. But I already know better I'm a go-getter and I got me I'm good I'm head over shoes on hardwood For me, you know I wrote the book I'm moving along from somebody wrong So last night I was being lazy and I didn't immediately charge my battery for my camera. I have two. When <laughs> it died, I just put it on my desk and then today this battery died and I was like, oh, I need to charge that. I'm like, where's the other one? And all I see is the cap for the battery, but I can't find the battery. And then I was like, well, it was like here on my desk. And then I looked in my garbage and it fell out of my garbage. Thank God I haven't taken out my garbage since then because like it's getting a little full and that would have been like a $50 battery just in the trash. Anyway, it is currently just after midnight. I am so exhausted. I don't know why. I had like a three hour nap. I don't understand. But my cousin and I had a nice like two hour long FaceTime where we embroidered together. She needed some help with a project. I was talking about it yesterday. Um, and so she was like asking me questions. I'm like, can we just FaceTime so I can see what the heck you're doing? And then while she worked on hers, I actually started working on the Argonoth, which is what I'm working on. So there it is. Um, progress, not a ton, but we're almost four hours in and I figured each statue would take like eight hours. So that's where we're at. Hopefully I get to work on a little bit more this weekend. I told her if she needs more help, because she's, I would say, a third done her project. Um, and much smaller, obviously, <laughs> only like that, and much less detailed. Um, but I was like, yeah, if you want to FaceTime again, and we can <laughs> hang out this way, which is kind of nice considering, you know, can't hang out in person. But 
I'm gonna go to sleep now. And then after I got off FaceTime with her, I did invoicing, which I started so late. I normally like to finish it by 10. I didn't even start it until after 10. And it took forever, but that is sorted. That is done with. And I have a three day weekend because I'm not going in, which is going to be wonderful. Also, this thing is being a jerk. I think my computer is not like going to sleep properly when I put that down. Um, so tomorrow my mom and I are going to go grocery shop and then go up to my grandma's. Oh, that reminds me. I got her a Steam card because she saw some of the video games I was playing and she's like, oh, I want to play them, but no, I didn't really know if I wanted to purchase them. I thought they'd be free to play. So now they will be free to play. And then I made her a mask forever ago and I forgot to bring it up the last time we went up. So put those in a safe place. Now I'm ready to go for tomorrow. I'm going to go to sleep. And I think even though I had that nap, I'm going to sleep in for a long time. So it should be wonderful. And um, I will now see you on t Tuesday. <laughs> I think Tuesday. I did not get a chance to edit my vlog at all today, but that's what we have tomorrow for. So I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. I'll see you Tuesday. Good night. Thanks for coming along. Please subscribe, hang out, have a good time, and um, I'll see you Tuesday. <laughs>